Five basic motions are required on a weaving machine to weave a fabric, such as denim. Shedding is the process of creating a path across and through the warp yarns by raising some warp threads by their harnesses and leaving other yarns down by keeping their harnesses in the down position. There are three methods of creating a shed. Cam shedding, dobby shedding, and jacquard shedding. Cam shedding is the most basic of shedding motions. It uses profiled cams to move the harnesses up and down. Cam looms usually have six to eight harnesses. Cam looms are best suited for simple weaves like plain weaves, basic twills, and satin weaves. Pattern changes require changing the harness cams, which is a simple process. Dobby shedding uses an electronic or mechanical device to select and move individual harnesses. Up to 28 harnesses can be used to weave complex twills, satins, small geometric figures, and pattern stripes. The jacquard head motion is the most complex shedding system. It is named after its inventor, Joseph-Marie Jacquard, who developed the system in 1801 to be used on hand looms. The jacquard has advanced significantly since then, but it still works on the same principle today. Jacquard shedding exhibits control on each individual warp yarn independent of all other warp yarns. Up to 12,000 warp ends can be controlled. These systems can employ mechanical or electronic devices to actuate the warp ends. Design capability is virtually unlimited. Pattern areas can equal the width of the fabric and are almost unlimited in the length. Fabrics made on jacquard looms are normally more expensive because of their complexity and slower weaving speed. There are no harness frames on this style of loom. Each end is activated independently, being controlled by its own harness cord from the jacquard head. The harness cord is attached to a heddle, which is pulled down by a spring in most cases, but in some of the older and slower models, weights are used to pull the heddles down to achieve the pattern. Filling insertion involves inserting the filling yarn through the weave shed. The oldest insertion method, shuttle weaving, has almost been replaced by other methods such as projectile, rapier, and air jet weaving. Most denim fabrics are woven using these modern insertion methods. Most air jet machines weaving denim will insert 600 to 800 picks per minute as compared to 300 to 500 picks per minute on projectile looms and 500 to 700 picks per minute on rapier looms. With the need for vintage looking denim garments, a good number of old shuttle looms still produce original width and construction denim fabrics for authentic reproduction jeans. The warp yarns pass through a comb-like device called the reed. The reed is usually cam-driven, receding backward during filling insertion and moving forward after pick insertion. This forward motion beats each inserted pick into the fabric body. The warp let-off device controls the rate at which the loom beam feeds the warp yarn into the machine. Tension sensing devices will signal the let-off when more yarn is needed to maintain a consistent warp yarn tension. Fabric take-up mechanisms control the rate of removal of the fabric from the weaving machine. The faster the rate of take-up, the fewer the picks per inch inserted into the fabric. The slower the rate of take-up, the more picks per inch are inserted into the fabric. Thus, coarser and bulkier filling yarns provide more fabric cover and require fewer pick insertions, thus increasing the rate of fabric production. The woven denim fabric is then wound onto a cloth take-up roll, which can be either built into the loom or located off the loom. Most modern denim looms now have off-loom cloth take-ups due to the large batching requirements for modern denim processing. Some machines have inspection stands allowing for easy inspection of the fabric before the cloth goes to the take-up roll. When the cloth roll has reached its maximum size, which is usually intended to coincide with the warp beam running out of yarn, the cloth is doffed and taken to the dyeing and finishing department.